Good afternoon. Uh, it's really wonderful to have you here today in the African World News Room. And with me, viewers here today, it's a um, retired Colonel Farai Jenya Chaya from previous with the Zimbabwe. And uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Jaya Chenya. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Not too bad. And can you please tell us about your, uh, I mean, give us a rundown on, uh, about your profile, just a brief profile about yourself, please. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Farai Jaya like you rightfully pointed out that I am Lieutenant Colonel Jaya I am retired and uh, I served for the past 27 years. Sorry, I served for 27 years in the Army. Yeah. And um, prior to joining the Army, I joined the liberation struggle of Zimbabwe. And um, I joined the liberation struggle at uh, childhood. Right. Uh, I, I was almost about 14 years there, but then I joined the Zanda forces. Right. Talking about um, the late um, Nelson Mandela Madiba, uh, what do you have to say about him? Um, Madiba, uh, the late president uh, Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Is an icon of Africa, and he's also a beacon of freedom and justice. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that Mandela has actually left uh, to us. There's a lot that we should learn from Mandela. We should take the opportunity that Mandela has actually left for us mm -hmm. to love each other. to help each other, mm. to respect each other. Those are some of the things that I think Madiba has actually left for us. And um, um, it's, 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 it's almost disturbing that um, uh, it looks like uh, there's, not, there's not even a single person who is making an effort to talk about the history of uh, Madiba and his right to freedom in a way that is encompassing. People are just focusing about his, his, his imprisonment and the fact that they, when he came out, they had to do away with the apartheid and um, the South Africans, ordinary South Africans were allowed to vote. But uh, as you may know, that uh, to those who have, who have actually done economics in school, and the, 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 there is what we call the factors of production. The factors of on the factors of production, land becomes the prime thing. For any anything that you would want to do, it becomes a prime thing. And I don't think uh, when Madiba made his, made that effort, the the land issue or the land is uh, in the right hands in South Africa. Right, um, as a retired Lieutenant Colonel, what do you know about the revolutionary aspects about the late Madiba? Um, when it comes to the revolution, uh, Madiba is a revolutionary just like uh, those other nationalists uh, in, uh, in Africa. Mm. We have got so many nationalists in Africa. Mm. And uh, those nationalists, uh, is actually done as good as what Madiba has actually done. Mm. And uh, they've actually fostered things like reconciliation. They've um, actually been incarcerated in jails. Mm. They, there's a lot. And uh, to this end, it is, it is not complete to talk about uh, Madiba's history or the Madiba's road to freedom without talking about those people who actually helped Madiba in the revolution mm -hmm. of uh, transforming South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, foremost, there are people like uh, Oliver Tambo, there are people like uh, Goldberg, 
there are people like um, uh, Walter Sisulu. The, there, there are many of them in South Africa that we may talk about, Chris Hani and, and so forth. All those people, they actually helped for Mandela to be what he is today. But surprisingly, people are choosing to keep quiet or to not to talk about that. And the, which does not go down well with the history of Madiba, with the history of South Africa. Madiba, for him to be what he, what he did for the South Africans, there were some other people who were actually behind him. There were some other people who were actually making, were putting pressure to the apartheid rule to actually release Mandela. And a lot of people were in the process died. It's not like uh, Madiba sprang up like Arnold Schwarzenegger, a movie, a movie giant, and uh, to, to, the, to the top. It's not like that. Can you please tell the listeners uh, about the land reform program in Zimbabwe? Um, the land reform program is quite a big chapter. Right. We, we need the whole day to talk about it. Hmm. But uh, in a nutshell, what I can say is there was a liberation struggle, right. which was being led by uh, President Robert Mugabe. And after the liberation struggle in 1979, Zimbabwe went to the Lancaster House and Lord Carrington was chairing the, the, the Lancaster House conference. Mm. And the, in that conference, they agreed and they signed out um, some bilateral agreements. And uh, in that meeting as well, they, they came out with a willing buy, willing seller arrangement, mm. which was enshrined in the constitution. That first constitution was actually crafted by the British. Mm. And uh, meaning to say, in 10 years' time, mm. Zimbabwe was to actually kickstart the land reform program. Mm. But however, because, because of the apartheid in South Africa, mm. Zimbabwe chose to delay implementing the willing buyer willing seller arrangement by some, a few years. And uh, the, the, it, it was actually a wait and see situation because they were actually working very hard to make sure that uh, Azania is free. During the liberation struggle, we used to call South Africa Azania. Right. Yes. And I remember vividly well the likes of President Robert Mugabe at that time. Mm. Uh, it was his main effort to actually have the. the revolutionaries of the region and the leaders of the region to form up a, a, a frontline state, right. which culminated into Southern African Development Co Coordinating Committee. Excellent. Um, can you please tell, tell, tell the listeners about um, Zimbabwe and the Irish connection? Um, Zimbabwe and the Irish connections, uh, the, the likes of Jerry Adams, Mm. Uh, it's, 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 it's unfortunate that uh, people are actually saying Mandela, Mandela, Mandela here and there. And uh, they're not talking about the history. Mm. In, 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 uh, I mean, the, the, the way it should be right. for the benefit of our children. Mandela, South Africa and Zimbabwe, I would say. South Africa and Zimbabwe, they benefited a lot from the likes of Jerry Adams. Mm. But today, People are talking about the history of those countries. They're talking about the history of Madiba. They're talking about, but they're not even mentioning about Jeradams. Maybe because of some reasons that are best known to them. But uh, like I've said, that there are a lot of people with crocodile tears who are not telling the truth about uh, uh, exactly what transpired uh, during that time. And uh, those people who actually who were at Mandela's heart, who helped Zimbabwe. We have South Africa. Uh, it goes without saying, the, the, the Irish history, in the Irish history, hmm. you, 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 you realize that Jerry Adams is one person who organized the dance stores, the yeah. workers to yeah. actually have a, 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 an anti apartheid match in the 70s hmm. in Ireland. But people are not talking about that. I don't know for some reason. Why they are not talking about that? Right. 
Um, and also, my next question is, um, um, what would you, or how would you regard the relationship between Mugabe and the late Medieval? President Robert Mugabe. Before he passed away, yeah. President Robert Mugabe uh, took a stance after the independence of Zimbabwe. Right. He, he was the first person to talk about the reconciliation. Mm. And the reconciliation was actually done in Zimbabwe. The likes of Ian Douglas Smith were, were working independently in Zimbabwe. And all those people. And one other thing that I cherish about uh, uh, President Robert Mugabe, he managed to merge the fighting force from the former army, the former Rhodesian army, the, the Zebra combatants and the Zandla combatants to actually form one establishment, which is the Zimbabwe National Army. Right. Uh, about the feud between President Robert Mugabe and uh, Nelson Mandela, that's a fiction that is being made, made by the media. Right. President Robert Mugabe, I think, uh, is one person who had Mandela at heart. Is one person who, at the beginning, when Mandela left the prison, hmm. is Mandela's first port of call, I think, was in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe right. One of our major roads in Zimbabwe was named after him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember very well during that time, they, both of them, right. President Robert Mugabe and uh, President, uh, former President Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. they opened the, the Limpopo Bridge. The Limpopo, yeah. The Limpopo right. Bridge. There's a lot that they actually did together. And there's a lot, because Zimbabwe is landlocked, we, it was, it was in our interest to liberate uh, South Africa. It was in, in our interest to make sure that uh, South Africa is free. And, uh, you know, Mandela's story cannot be complete without uh, okay. talking about uh, the likes of President Robert Mugabe, the likes of uh, Julius Nyerere, uh, Kujimile Masire, uh, Kenneth Gaonda, mm -hmm. and, and all those other revolutionaries. Mm -hmm. You, if, if you find yourself talk about the history of Madiba and you don't talk about those people, then you are lost. Mm. You are dead lost. You, 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 are not, you, you are not helping in any way. You are not helping in any way. Mm. Because our children who are growing, they want to know the real history about the revolution. They want to know... Uh, it's not everything that Madiba got right. Mm. Those few things that Madiba couldn't get right should actually be mentioned mm -hmm. so that people can take can take a leaf out of it and learn out of it. Madiba was only a person, mm -hmm. just like a human being, just like you just and like me. Us, yeah. Yes. So he, he he had also his shortcomings sure. and uh, achievements. Right. But he, in the main, I think Madiba played a pivotal role mm -hmm. in the in Africa as a whole and the world beyond. I mean, and beyond. Yeah. Yes. So, in a nutshell, sir, um, what what do you have? What what I mean? What do you have to say? To, I mean, to your to the listeners, as with regards to other leaders, um, well, in the African continent. So, what what do you have to say? In a nutshell, just to um, I think when we talk about history, mm. it must be real history, right? Because it goes into the into the books, mm. and then the children would actually, the ch our children should actually know the, the real history. Mm. Our children should know uh, that Madiba, when mm. he was fighting the for the for the, re the, the revolution of South Africa, mm. there were a lot of other people who were mm. involved, mm. and those people should actually be made should be mentioned, should be known, you know, mm. yeah, because the, the, their efforts cannot just go in vain today. Uh, people just being taken by storm and say uh, everywhere, Mandela, Mandela, Mandela. Fine, Mandela, yes, he did his part. I really respect him. And for your own information, um, I, when I joined the Zanda forces in, in my childhood, it was an inspiration from Madiba. Madiba is a true in, 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 inspiration to many. He has actually touched so many people 
in one way or the other. And for, to, for, for today, I think what we should do is to take the legacy that has been left by Madiba and implement and take the opportunity of loving each other. Forgive those people who do bad, to, bad, bad things to you. You must look after each other, love each other. All those things that Madiba has actually left for us. Madiba is a hero, is a giant, and heroes like Madiba, they will never die. Their legacy will remain. Uh, in a nutshell, what I would want to say is, rest in peace, Mad Madiba, son of Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.